The Florida Current, an online news service smartly covering politics and policy. Subscribe for free daily alerts at thefloridacurrent.com. James Mort was convicted of molesting a child under 12 and battery against a teen in 2004. Two months ago, this sign appeared outside the campground where Mort lives. Mort wouldn't talk with us. A woman at his home used language we can't put on TV. The signs are the doing of Bradford County Sheriff Gordon Smith. If my wife or my daughter breaks down and she goes to beat on a door for help, I want her to know where not to go. State law requires the sheriff to notify residents when sex offenders or predators move into an area. Smith says the 18 signs he's erected are better than deputies distributing flyers. Only predators are getting these signs, and to be classified as a predator, you must have committed a violent crime, preyed on someone under the age of 12, or become a repeat offender. These are, these are what I call the bottom feeders. While the sheriff is getting praise for many, the campground owner, who didn't want her face on TV, is livid. They can't even go out and get a stupid job because of something like this. And the son of the campground owner says the signs are a threat to an ongoing church effort to improve the campground. Everybody down there knew they didn't need a sign. A woman with one of the churches helping residents here says the sign isn't helping anyone. This individual I've observed for 18 months and he's working very hard to turn his life around. But after two months the sheriff is standing his ground. We just want people to know and know where these people live to protect our communities. The signs are made by the county, cost about $10, and they're put up using inmate labor. In Bradford County, Florida, I'm Mike Vasilinda reporting.